Once in a while you stumble upon a product that takes you by surprise. The X5 T9 in-ear monitors do that. I mostly use over-ear headphones with large drivers. But I also use in-ear headphones mostly in the form of Apple AirPods and I have used rather cheap in-ears for years when I played drums on stage. These X5 T9s cost around 190 US dollars which puts them price-wise below absolute premium models but above entry-level in-ear monitors. Let's call these upper mid-range price-wise. The features of these in-ears are rather premium, with a detachable and with that replaceable cable, and three sizes of silicone or foam ear tips. The silicone comes with four each, the foam with two. That will sort you out for a while. There's four years of warranty, and I find that reassuring. The design uses two drivers, one low to mid-end and a specialized tweeter in contrast to high-end designs where you can get multiple drivers in an in-ear monitor. I wouldn't describe the sound of these T9s as big or hyped in any way. Karma Neutral is what I would call the sound profile with a less prominent low end and more skewed to the high end. The main advantage is that you can listen through them for a long time without getting fatigued. There absolutely is low end, the earplugs go really deep, but the low end is not very present. I countered that by adding a low shelf EQ on my headphone output. Actually I did the same for the Odyssey's LCD XC's I reviewed and still use to this day. In mixing with these in-ears I initially added too much low end and too little high end, which makes sense if you take into account how the T9 sounds. As long as you are aware of that, you can use the T9s for quick on-the-fly mixing. Nothing too detailed and you get the advantage of the very lightweight and more than adequate sound blocking. And that's also one of the big reasons why you might want to use in-ear monitors like these T9s. The isolation of sound. In other words, how much sound they block. In normal usage, the T9s block a lot of sounds, ideal for any basic setting, but there's a difference when using the silicone of foam tips. When I play drums, these silicone ear tips are on the verge of being okay and not being enough with the damping. Cymbals especially are too loud for my taste. Switching these silicone ear tips out for the foam versions fixes that. These foam ear tips give you excellent sound suppression. With them it's very comfortable to play loud drums. What you hear with those doesn't differ that much from the silicone tips. The bleed is pretty natural with less low end and somewhat reduced high end. That's a huge contrast with for instance these drum headphones from Vic Firth which have a very scooped sound. They leave in lots of lows and make the drums sound thick and other instruments sound like mud. You have to be very careful with putting these in in regards of volume. Better always turn down to zero and increase volume, because these go really loud if you want to. The included cord is 1.5 meters long, which is just under 5 feet in Freedom Units. That's more than long enough when you wear a belt pack or sit very closely to a headphone output, like a laptop in front of you. Other than that you might want to use an extension cord like what I do while I record myself playing on drums. If you like this video so far and you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is to click subscribe and hit that like button. This video is made possible by DistroKid. Are you a musician looking to get your music onto popular streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music? Look no further than DistroKid. DistroKid makes it simple for artists to get their music out there. Plus you'll keep 100% of the royalties you earn from your streams. Why not give it a try and see for yourself why so many artists are choosing DistroKid to distribute your music. Use the link in the description of this video to get 7% off of your first year on DistroKid. I find myself using these T9s basically every day since they are very comfortable to wear and sound very pleasant. If you need in-ears and don't have the budget to go really high-end but don't want to settle for cheap in-ears, put these X5 T9s on your shortlist.